Alright, uh, it's only been about a week since my last update, but, uh, I got a couple new things, what, what, I, what I said I was going to order, um, so I figured I'd just do an update right now and show you what I got, so, Friday, I got in my Hang on the Back Refugium, it, uh, it's by Phoenix. It's a gallon, one gallon. Um, I uh, got some rubble rock in there. I had a piece of a frag of zoanth that, well, a piece that came in the bag when I bought my zoes. Um, so I just threw that in there. It came with this really good quality. It seems really good light. It has uh, a whole bunch of... I didn't really count it. It didn't say how many white LEDs there were. But there's a whole bunch of white LEDs. And then there's four blue moonlight LEDs for it. It's pretty bright. Keep both the lights on. Then, uh, I went to uh, my local fish store today, and I got some of this stuff. It's uh, algin. I don't know. I don't know what it. It has uh, copepods in it, um, and it came with some some chato algae. And my local fish store didn't have any. This is the only thing I could get that had chato algae with it, so I just got it. There's not much, but it'll it'll grow fast, and hopefully the cocoa pods will grow fast too. Um, <coughs> we'll go over the tank. Uh, Moon's doing good. Um. The Zenya is doing pretty good. He, uh, there's a little bit too much flow on him, on the Zenya, so I'm gonna have to move it somewhere. Um, the Condi's doing alright. Well, doing pretty good. Nemony Crab, you can see him in there. Uh, Zoe's all opened up they started to change colors and turning into a bright orange because I moved them up a little bit in the tank um, this pal he's doing good Ooh, I don't think you can see it but there's another growing off in the back you know you can't see it um, two zoes right there from breaking it off there uh, Yellowtail damsel didn't get. I don't think I got him in the last video because he was hiding. He's doing all right. Still missing the tail. Uh, my um, coral banded shrimp's doing all right. Just flipped out because my angel. My angel's doing all right. Um, I do have a. I have a question about my angel. He. He doesn't. He won't eat the food I put in the tank. Like right when I put it in the tank. But he seems to uh, get it off the floor, um, and then he'll pick at the rock all day. He picks at the rock all day, like a usual angel. But, yeah, he's been in there for, like, two weeks. Um, also, I've been starting to get a lot of Coraline algae. I think I'm going to keep it. There's some little bit right there. These are just little pieces. There's some right there. Uh, and then there's two bigger spots on the back. There's right down there, right next to the tentacle right in front of it. And then there's another one right there, right behind my uh, damsel, right there. Um, there's a couple other spots, like right up there, but they're, they're hard to see. 
So, uh, yeah. My skimmer, skimmer's doing good. Really good, actually. This refugium just has a pump going to it. It's got some pretty good low in it. I have the restrictor in so none of the algae can flow out of it. So it's a little bit high. I also can see the flow. Lights. Um and another thing, I got my uh my RODI system. It's kind of dark out here. I ran. It was only 62 bucks. And it works perfect. Except I can't hang it because it uh it leaks pretty often. Well, the only thing that leaks is the, the wastewater outlet leaks a little bit. But that's alright, I'll just keep it in the cooler when I run it. I'll run it whenever I need water. I got, I had about five gallons in this jug, but I did a water change today, so that took about half of it. I ran ten gallons through it before I used any of the water. Just to, just to run ten gallons through it. Um, uh, I think that's about it so uh yep yeah. that's it oh and coralline algae's all over this thing yeah that's it